iPhone SE is like the Ellen DeGeneres of phones. It's small, but powerful. I would even go as far as to say that this is the perfect compact smartphone. In terms of performance, it's really fast and incredibly reliable. And the battery life is really good. It's actually better than my 6S Plus, which is kind of nuts considering it's 12 times its size. My initial reaction when I took it out of the box was, holy fuck, this thing is small. But then it sort of grew on me. It made me miss the days of being able to hit all four corners with ease. It reopened my eyes to the older iPhone 5 design that made me fall in love with Apple products to begin with. And it made me miss the true pocketability that went along with such a small phone. Something about the phone just felt right in my hand. It felt as if I was holding the last of Steve Jobs' vision for iPhone. But nostalgia aside, a 4-inch phone is just a little too small for my taste. But that's just me. My only real issue with this phone is the lack of 3D touch. Seeing the advancements with 3D touch in iOS 10, I must say I'm a little disappointed that this was the one feature that Apple decided to leave out. Now I get that the iPhone SE was supposed to be a budget phone, but really how much more would it have cost? In my opinion, I would have gladly paid just a bit more to essentially future-proof my phone. All being said though, Apple is offering a great compact smartphone. It's snappy, smooth, and undeniably sexy. So buy it for your kid, buy it for your grandma, or hey, maybe even buy it for yourself. The iPhone SE is a solid phone, both inside and out. Thank <laughs> you.